Warren Buffett is the second richest man in the world. Bill Gates is the first, y'all know. And Warren Buffett is the second with a net worth of $44 billion. You might assume that his granddaughter is living mighty well. I am the granddaughter of Warren Buffett. I've been very blessed to have my education taken care of, and I have my living expenses taken care of while I'm in school. After we're out of school, we don't get any money from our family. I work for um, a family here in San Francisco, the Tannenbaums, and they're an amazingly wonderful family. I do a lot of organizing of just things in their home, organizing of toys. I think it's a very weird thing to be working for a very wealthy family, considering I do come from one of the wealthiest families in America. And I feel that the family I work for feels a bit of humor around the fact that I am from one of the wealthiest families, a wealthier family than I believe they are. How do you feel like your grandfather would react if he saw you in this video? Um, I definitely fear judgment. Um, money is the spoke in my grandfather's wheel of life. I think either people are coming from a place of love or fear, and fear drives us to want to hold on to things and not share because we're afraid that there's not enough for ourselves, and if we let go, you know, we're gonna not have enough for ourselves. So we're gonna talk to Nicole Buffett when we come back about having the second richest man in the world as your grandfather, but not getting any of his money. We'll talk about that when we come back. So what is it like to be from one of the wealthiest families in the world, but live in a middle class world of your own? Well, I would say it's um, a very unusual and unique experience. Um, I actually feel very fortunate. I feel that I have, I get kind of the best of both worlds in a yeah. way. Um, I feel like I'm connected to my heart and my soul, and I, I live a life that I feel comes from that place. Yeah. Um, and I also know that I've been very blessed to have opportunities like your, an education. Because your grandfather paid for your education. Yes. As and an paid artist, for your yes. stay while you were, you know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which was unusual. Which set me apart from almost everyone that I was in school with. Really? And it, yeah, it created my education, my whole experience to be um, just different. I didn't have the worry hanging over my head of paying back loans, and mm -hmm. that was never a concern, which, mm -hmm. which um, allowed me to, to have freedom. But I think this is interesting because your grandfather, I, have, I, I know your grandfather, your grandfather is also known for his sort of remaining down to earth in spite of the billions of dollars, right. living in the same neighborhood. Yes. And you know, never moving out of that yes. environment, and you know. Yes, this yes. is true. So and he's not a flamboyant wealthy man. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. And yeah. he he would never want any of his children or grandchildren to be that way. Mm -hmm. It would um, he would think it would kind of rob us of yeah. our experience. And has you know made public statements about not leaving all of his money to his kids. Right. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? Um, I feel. <laughs> I feel okay. I'm at peace with that, mm -hmm. um, but I do feel that um, it would be nice to be involved with um, creating things for others with that money and to mm -hmm. be involved in it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel completely excluded from it. Do you ever wish you had more money? Yes. You do? Of course, I mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Would you ever, like, go to him and ask for money? Um, I have, mm -hmm. and it's usually turned down. Um, mm -hmm. when I was younger in high school mm -hmm. for school trips and those kinds of things. And it was usually turned down because it would set me apart from the other grandchildren. It would give me something that was only because he had that money. Mm -hmm. So is the expectation in your family that you, every person has to earn whatever they get? Yes. That you're given the education yes. and then you have to earn whatever you yes. get. Are, are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. I really think that's remarkable. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. I do. I really do. And you can honestly sit here and say you feel no resentment to your grandfather for not having just a small trust fund. Well, no, yeah, you know, I, um... A couple million. On an emotional level. Yeah. On an emotional level, I, I sometimes, I go, hey, you know, well, I just wish I could not worry. I yeah. wish I had that. I think that that's a wish that we all have as human beings. Okay. And that's, I, I think that that's, that's real. 